Hi, I'm Joe Maglio with Tea Times USA. We're here at Halifax Plantation. In a moment, we'll be with Jason Bowman, the head professional, who will play one hole with us and tell us a little bit about more of the course. Jason, well, tell us a little bit about the course. Well, thank you. I've been uh, fortunate enough to have been here uh, since we, the day we opened. And um, Halifax Plantation is a very unique uh, golf course uh, in the state of Florida because there's not a lot of water. We have a couple holes that have water, and that's uh, on the back nine but you gotta really go out of your way to, uh, to find it. But what, what makes this golf course unique is, as you see, we're uh, amongst a lot of hardwood trees, a lot of oak trees, and right across the road is uh, Tomoka State Park, so we're basically nestled in a uh, state park. So the golf course is very lush uh, with a lot of oak trees and uh, blended in with some palms to give it a little bit of a Florida look. All right, perfect. We're gonna play the, the ninth hole here with Jason. We're gonna film him, watch him, and uh, show us a little about the course. Okay. Today we're playing the, uh, the ninth hole, which is my favorite. Um, it's a dog leg right, par five. Uh, it's just a beautiful hole. Um, it has two bunkers off the tee, about 235, 240 from the whites. So, um, and if you, if you try and hit it over the trees, you, again, you have to sort of carry it 240, 245, which, which, is, uh, which is a pretty good poke. So what I usually do is, uh, is I lay it up just short of the bunkers and it leaves me a uh, five iron layup and then a wedge to the green. And uh, we'll talk about that when we get up there. Okay, so we made it out uh, to the fairway and we're uh, even with the bunkers, so uh, hit it about 225, which is sort of the optimal landing area um, for, this, for this hole. And it leaves me uh, basically no option except to lay it up to the right, which is, which is why I was conservative off the tee. Um, so we're going to hit up to the right side because the green, as you notice, there are three uh, bunkers that start about 70 yards away from the green that make this a very, very difficult green to hit even if even with you uh, when you have a wedge into the green so uh, it's always a three shot hole for me and we're going to see if we can play it up to the right and if you look the golf the, the hole was just framed by such beautiful trees um, they're they're you know hundreds of years old and uh, just makes it a really really nice um, a nice hole unless of course you're over there well as you see we're about uh, 110 yards away from the uh, from the flag and if you've never played here before, you don't really recognize that the green slopes from left to right. So the pin right now is located on the uh, short right uh, side of the pin, and normally 110 yards when it's short right is a pretty easy shot. This hole, however, is not. Um, you've got to play it uh, just actually over the bunker to get it close, because if you hit it over the bunker, it's going to slope off to the right. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, uh, well, the third shot is a little bit further away than I would have liked, but uh, we have about 25 feet. Um, still have a little bit of uh, downhill left to right to negotiate, so hopefully we can, uh, we can do that. All right, well, after you tap in for your par, um, hopefully birdies, we have a uh, fine restaurant uh, facility here. Uh, we're open for, uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we also have a bar, a uh, full service bar uh, that you can get sandwiches out of after, after you play also. So, um, so please come out and enjoy Halifax Plantation. It's a, uh, it's a great golf course, great people, and I think you enjoy it. 